Hello friends, my name is Sahaj Kaur and I'm a visual artist that works with the Chicago Children's Theatre. I'm working on creating some fun art projects for us to do while we're stuck at home. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your very own loom that you can use to weave patterns on with yarn. Here we go! So to get started with our supplies, we'll need at least two different colors of yarn, a cereal box, tape, scissors, and a ruler. The first step will be to cut our cereal box. Remember to ask for your parents' help if you need it. This can be quite difficult. It can also be just very thick to cut through this cardboard. So if you can't do it or if your scissors aren't big enough, please ask your parents. Here what I'm doing is just separating one panel of the cereal box. Right here I show you that I'm folding it in half so that I can have just a smaller loom which makes it a little bit easier to weave because there's not as much material that we're going to be weaving. Alright, so for step two, we're going to measure and make cuts. Now with your ruler, you got to line it up to one of the longer ends of your piece of cardboard and you want to make marks with your pencil or pen that are half an inch apart. Here I've made the marks on one end and now all you have to do is make marks that correspond with the top marks on the bottom. And done. Next what you want to do is take your scissors and again ask for your parents help if you need it and just make little cuts just little snips exactly where you've made your marks. Once that's done, we're going to start with step three, which is to string your loom. So what you want to do is take one of your pieces of yarn and all of these supplies and cut a nice and long piece of yarn. Now you'll see in this example when I'm showing you that I cut way more yarn than I needed, but don't worry about it because we can just use that to weave later. What you're going to do is insert one end of the yarn into one of the slots all the way on one side. And on the back, all you have to do is tape down that little slot, that little piece of yarn, so that it doesn't pull out when you start weaving. Next, you're going to flip it back over and line up your piece of yarn to the slot on the other side of the cardboard piece and push it right into that little ridge that you cut. Then you turn it around and you find the next ridge and slip it back in there. Now you turn it back to the front, you put your yarn in the next slit and you just keep doing that for as long as you'd like. As you can see that I've only done about half of this piece of cardboard because I wanted to make a smaller piece so I could show y'all how to make it quicker. Once you get to the length that you want, you just cut your extra yarn and just like in the beginning, you want to tape that little piece to the back of your loom. So for step four, we're finally going to weave. What you got to do is grab your second color of yarn, your scissors, and your loom. Now this is a little bit complicated, so pay attention. You want to grab a long piece of yarn, cut it, and then look at what my finger is doing. The general idea in weaving is that you want to take the green yarn and put it over, under, over, under, over, under, just like this. Now the idea is to alternate. Here I'm showing you one line of weaving 
And what you're going to do next is wrap the thread over the pink yarn, in my example I used pink, and weave that green yarn all the way through. Remember to pull it all the way through, just like I did on the left there so you can see that the two yarns will eventually come together. And what I'm doing is now pushing down the newly woven line of yarn so that they come together and there's more space to weave the rest of the weaving. So just a reminder when you're weaving, you wanna be careful to not pull too tightly when you're pulling your yarn through and to always push down the yarn as you're going. Here you can see I'm using a plastic needle, but that's just to speed up the process. You can definitely just easily do this with your fingers. Step five, you're just gonna remove and finish. So here's what my finished weaving looks like. I grabbed a pair of scissors and I'm gonna take the pink yarn that we first put on the loom and just pull it off of its slots. Be very careful here because your weaving will be very fragile and could fall apart pretty easily. All right, so I've pulled off all the loops on one side and I'm going to take off the taped piece of yarn as well and pull off all the loops on the other side. Now this is what my weaving looks like off the loom and the next step is going to be to secure this. So what we want to do is take all the loose pieces of yarn, all the loose ends, and tie them into knots at the top and the bottom of the weaving. So here what I'm doing is tying the taped ends into knots on either side. So here I'm showing you a knot and remember you can always ask for your parents help right here in tying a knot. Next, what we're gonna be doing is cutting these loops right in the middle, like I'm showing you here. Make sure you only cut one loop at a time and tie these knots and keep it nice and secure so your weaving doesn't fall apart once you take it off the loom. Once you're done doing all this, then just trim the extra pieces of yarn. I like to do this because it keeps my weaving looking nice and neat. And now you're done. Here's what the finished weaving looks like. Like I said, I used two different colors. It's flexible and it can be used for a lot of things. Here I'm going to show you how it can be used as a coaster. Once you've created your loom and tried it out, show your family and friends, or take a picture or video of your work and send it to us at the email on your screen. We would love to see it. To explore more virtual activities in theater, check out and subscribe to our YouTube channel, CCTV. To find out more about our summer camps, head to the website on your screen. I hope you have fun with this activity and see you soon.